I like the fact that it kind of sprung up all of a sudden and was surprising and this thing that reaches out to everybody for free is available two weeks, all these things happen in two weeks and then it kind of and it goes away again like it was some kind of magic thing that just happened. Understanding creativity in a different way, hearing about it in, in a structural way, so seeing it as part of your personal identity, part of a community, and understanding it in a collaborative political sense never came to mind before. Being in an environment where people are actively collaborating creatively is something that some, I've never experienced before. So going to a free school, uh, can't turn that down. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of just sort of pushing it, doing the maximum, doing surprising, challenging things, doing the thing where it's not just teaching you some kind of crafty techniques, but it's about thinking of the core of your identity and putting creativity at the core of your being and seeing what does that mean, what does it feel like if I think of myself as creative and inviting people to step into that space, that's what makes it exciting. It fell together quickly. It got bigger than we ever expected. We've had uh, hundreds of people coming to the sessions. Definitely a roller coaster, if in a positive way. There have been so many different people from the community, people from Ryerson, students, um, coming out, wanting to try out new things, learning about their own creativity. It's, it's been pretty amazing. blowing my mind to see all the things that you guys have here. It's such an inspiring um, university. So I really feel like I'm, I'm a different person. <laughs> I'm, I really, I'm really happy. <laughs>